With their 3-1 win against the Los Angeles Angels last night, the Houston Astros have tied a major league record for the longest opening day winning streak. Here's our player of the game, and let's get into the recap. I'm going to be honest, I wish I could give you guys a better recap, but I was taking a midterm for a good part of the game, so I couldn't watch it. So, um... Let's just get into the numbers, I guess. Not a lot of advanced numbers, because usually with those, you got to keep up live. So, there's that. From Bravadas, though, with the standard numbers, shined. Six and two-thirds innings pitched. Around 70-something pitches, by the way. Or 80, 80-something pitches. Efficiency. He had 60-something heading into the seventh. Efficiency. Um, allowed only two hits. And one of them was a chopper that probably didn't have a really high expected batting average at all. That Breggy, in my opinion, could have made, but didn't. It is what it is. Um, if you guys remember, in the seventh inning, actually, Dusty Baker was really close to taking Fromber out before that last chopper that went for a single. Um, because everyone's on a shorter leash because of a short spring. And... The last time that Dusty Baker did that in a MLB game, not including spring training, um, the last time Dusty Baker wanted to let his starter try to finish the inning, Jorge Soler happened. Anthony Rendon, who, by the way, also has beaten us in the World Series, also homered in the game that eliminated us in the World Series, um, almost did the same thing. He hit a ball... Deep into Anaheim, but it was just on the wrong side of that yellow pole. Sucks to suck. And then, I think the next pitch, maybe two pitches later, Frommer got him to ground into a double play. And then suddenly, it's two outs, nobody on, seventh inning. You're like, okay, he's going to get seven innings. This is amazing. Breggy doesn't handle a chopper. Phil Mayton takes over. Spin rate, he does his thing. And the Astros basically roll through the rest of the game. Um, Fletcher did hit an RBI triple on a Jordan Alvarez belly flop. But speaking of Jordan Alvarez, let's get to our player of the game. Ryan Tapera. Um, we would not have won this game without Ryan Tapera's two earned runs. So thank you, Ryan Tapera. Thank you for um, reminding us why we don't talk trash about the Astros. The only person on the planet who has talked trash about the Houston Astros and has had it work out for him is Juan Soto. Everyone else has not met a good fate. Don't talk about the Astros because they will make you pay. I don't even know how. Like It's not like a moral thing. I'm not like saying... Oh yeah, you can't talk about their cheating or else you're good. Like it's not it's not a moral thing. Like they just won't make you pay. It's just how it is. So that's that's our recap. Uh there's a little story though. Ryan Presley has been drawing concern. His velo is down. No strikeouts. He did get a double play. A lot of single to Mike Trout, who is Mike Trout. So um he's been a story in spring training. His velo was down in spring training. He said you know, I usually uh, need some adrenaline to get the um, velo up. Apparently, the Angel fans are really boring because there was not a lot of velo yesterday. He just signed an extension. I'm glad he's an Astro. And now he's some, he's raising some uh, eyebrows. Not mine. I'm not too worried about it yet. But that is something you might want to watch. I'll see y'all tomorrow. And then tomorrow, and then I'll skip a whole week because I'll be at school. And then we'll do more recaps. I'm excited for this season. We're 1-0 already. Undefeated. We're still going 162-0. Book it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to stay tuned for more of whatever this video is, feel free to subscribe right here. If you guys just want to check out some more videos right now, this is my most recent upload. Again, thank you guys for watching. And as always, it is Stro season all season.